Hey, <laughs> our chairs are okay. Go. Okay. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to this week's podcast. Me and Liz are currently sitting in the study room. Uh, it is Wednesday, the 9th of November. It is a late night, 8:22 p.m. And Liz had to show me where the study room was. <laughs> I was unaware of where it was and where we live. So it's okay. That's what I'm here for. But yeah, we came off our first win. Give us a clap. Yay! Um, Mount St. Mary's. What was the score? It was 101 to 45. Um, and you know what is the best part about it is I think we could have done much better. That's true. But um, we have more games to come. So we we'll keep getting better. But. We do. The most exciting thing, we do have our first guest, but we also want to shout out our first sponsor of the podcast on episode two. We're super thrilled about it. Um, it was great seeing everybody back home in Castle this week. And if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the New River Valley, give Dave Phillips with Phillips Real Estate a call. That is Dave Phillips with Phillips Real Estate. The real estate market is complex right now. So make sure you talk with a local market expert and Hokie alum if you're looking to buy or sell. Just give them a call or text at 540-346-4552 to learn more. That's 540-346-4552. Thank you. You have a beautiful voice for advertising. For advertising? Yes. Thank you. That's noted. Okay. Well, anyways, we do, as we said, have a guest on this week. And it is, you've heard of the queens. We found our king. Miss Kayla the king. Miss Kayla king. Obviously, Kayla had an incredible performance, our first game. Let me just read out a couple of things that she did in her 24 minutes of play. Mm. Career high, am I right? Oh, yeah. Career high, 33 points, four rebounds. Babe, we've got to work on the assists. We will, we will. I Two mean, assists. you guys were passing it to me the whole game, so I didn't really have an opportunity. I but guess next game, next game. That's good. Anyways, but how many – what did you do, uh, what did you do, Kayla? Tell us what you did. I had a record-breaking nine threes, which is... Great with, with your chest. I had a record-breaking nine threes, okay? Yeah. Nine threes. You know how incredible that is? It's it's kind of hard. I don't, it's one of those things that hasn't set in yet, I don't really think. Um, but it was nine whole threes, you know? Yeah. Not one, one, two, three, four, five, like Tiso. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> um, apart from your own performance, obviously, mm. what do you think, like how the game went in your in your own words team wise i mean it was just fun like i know i've played against taylor soul mm. but having her on our team it's just like a whole new perspective she's running up and down the court getting the fans involved i, I mean like i said she stole the fans in one game yeah mm. and we've been here for four years <laughs> and they already love her more than they love us oh like, like don't do her no. like that. They love all of us, but they I don't do love all of us. It's just I don't it's a whole other level. A whole I love to be so. Energy. It's just That's everyone, fun. everyone's personalities. It's just it's fun. It's just a fun team. It is really fun, yeah. I think I think what we need to learn from T Soul is to pump the crowds up yeah. with her arms. She yeah. seems to do the wave, and that seems to really do it. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't think of that. I know. That's not we really. Should, like we that. we should have learned from Mutz, just the Mutz. That's how he gets the crowd. That yeah. is true. Who's going to be the head, head head banger? You want to throw your head around? I think you got it, G. Ooh, I have a question. How much would I have to pay you to scream, let's go, into Castle Guard? Is it, is, is, is it, is it yeah, I have to say, is it like a month like on the feet? Oh, no, no, it's like dead side. Like, like when they do their finger thing. Yeah. I, I might need like a good hundred dollars or something. I'm going to need five. I love Castle Guard. Thank you guys for coming out. Subtle shout out. Thank you, Castle God. I think we had the biggest attendance for a home opening game. Didn't it we? was also like the third most, like the third highest from last year. Like if it was like compared yeah. to last year's, they said it would have been like the third highest attendance. Like that's that crazy. Really it was a Monday night at five. Mm -hmm. First game of the year. Like non conference. They did, they did great. Like yes. we need that again on Friday. Mm -hmm. Hurricane Nation really came out. And look at Liz's face. She's just realizing that. <laughs> She's trying to process I, mean, I, don't, I don't know who told me that. It could be fault, but someone told me that today. So yeah. I'll take it and run with it. Okay. Mm. Well, you know what all of Hokie Nation that came to the game saw? Not only Kayla's career night, but they saw the freshman flop of the week. So <laughs> let's move into that. My vote for freshman flop of the week is Miss Shelley Stunn. Mm -hmm. She has the nerve. She has the nervous jitters. She's on the court. The game's going 100 miles an hour, clearly. 
I'm on the bench and Coach Brooks subs me on and he's like, let's get Charlie a shot. So I'm like, sweet, okay. I run onto the court. It was a foul shot. And I'm looking at Charlie and I'm like, Charlie, like, be ready. I'm going to get you a shot. Not saying like I'm a faucet, but just be ready because I don't want her to miss that opportunity. So we run down in transition. I try and give it to her in transition. She like pump fakes, drive fakes, doesn't work out. Fine. Gives it back to me. Sweet. Let's set up a play. So we run the play. And I don't know what she was thinking, but she ran it completely wrong. This woman just pops. So I give her the ball anyway. She's kind of open. Bank. Bank three from not even like the top, the no, wing. It, it was from the wing. Bank three yeah. from the wing. That is her first collegiate basket. One to remember, I think. I don't I don't even think I remember mine. I say I don't remember mine, so I don't. But at least she made her first basket. Yeah. Like that sucks. She can yeah. like I, know, I definitely first. didn't. There's no way I made my first one. So. Well, regardless, we will always know because Charlie will always be putting that on her story. She will never let people forget that. <laughs> and any other three that she makes. Yeah. Um, speaking of freshman flop, Liz and I have decided that we are going to have a running telly. Do you yeah. want to tell us about that? Yes. This is my genius idea, basically, because regardless, Georgia and I benefit. So we're going to keep a running tally of who, like, which freshman wins the freshman flop of the week. And the what Georgia likes to call the winningest loser. So like whoever has the most flops wins the most losses <laughs> has to take us out to dinner. Biggest loser. Yeah. But it'll with be it. like with their dining hall pass. So we'll either mm -hmm. go to like Turner or Weston. But the only problem with that is I feel like Charlie is already running out of points. Charlie is out of points. I'm and I just want to say I'm vouching for Maddie. Maddie, don't give her your card anymore. Stop giving Charlie your swipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't, yeah. She, Charlie's very generous. I feel like anyone asks. She, she is would. generous. If Charlie ends up winning, I will be, it, I think I'll make her take us to the dining hall, but she's going to have to fund it somewhere else. Yeah. I, was, it, it was like, I feel like Maddie's going to end up paying for it no matter what. Like, you know, no matter who wins. Like, she has the most money. You're she right. Knows. And she's also the most generous. Like, that girl, uh, yeah. you go to the SAPC, the performance center to eat. Mm -hmm. She is dying to take up all of our dirty dishes. Yeah. To the, to the belt. Like, no, I'm telling you, like, our, our freshmen are super cute. You guys are the queens. Ugh, kind of. Okay, Kayla. You're the king, though, so, like... Smart, intelligent, beautiful king. May I say record-breaking? I love being called a king. It's just... <laughs> Show us the no, tap. Brings my neck. tap for yeah. No reason. yeah, you do have a crown on your wrist forever, you know. The reason why we know that Kayla has this crown on her wrist is because we are very close. Why are we very close? You may ask. We indeed live together for like, what, two years? Yeah, we, well, two, I lived, maybe three. Yeah, yeah, I lived with Kayla. We were freshman roommates in the dorm. So and we were, were, you were joined at the hip in high school too. So y'all can say like what? We did kind of live together. Yeah, no, we did. Okay. But, but we, us three, lived in an apartment for our, our whole sophomore and junior years. Well, so two whole years. I want to add, it felt longer because it was during COVID and yeah. we were like locked in that apartment too. Oh. So I feel like we literally spend like every single day together. Carry on. Yeah, so anyways, Kayla, because she's just the great friend that she is, she listened to our podcast last week. So she kind of gets the gist of the Ruby report card that George and I already did. Um, so we just thought it would be really fun to do it with Kayla as well because we had so much fun with you. So we'll let you go. We'll let you go in a second. But first, we want to go first. We have we have wait to hear. fought long and hard. We had to reach the back of our brains, our memories. Fortunately, some very select few stuck out, and we discussed this in the car last night because yeah. they're hilarious. Go. All right. So my first one, Kelly. You ready? I'm ready. I think I can. You're red. I can see your face. Yeah, for all those um, audio listeners, Kayla's a tomato right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. So, you know, like the Brita, the water filler? Oh, yeah. In the, okay. That goes in the fridge, yeah. God bless Kayla's heart because she, she used to change that filter. Like, I had no idea how to change a filter. And when we moved out, I struggled. I had to read the instructions. <laughs> I've still yet to do it. Kayla carried. Kayla, Kayla carried. carried. She changed it. Uh, the filter may have been moldy at some times, but she still changed it. Um, but the downside of this <laughs> is even though she changed the filter, when it came to the water, it was either never filled back up or... <laughs> it was left under the tap with the tap running. For I knew five that was minutes. coming. I knew that was coming. That thing would overpour. 
Yeah. Leave a comment. Um, I have a reasoning, <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's not really valid, but I would, like, try to multitask and, like, you know how you, like, leave the microwave on and, like, try and get back before it, like, gets to one? Yeah. So it was kind of that concept, but I would never come back. Yeah. Yeah, so I know. It was just, like, I don't know if it's a little bit of ADHD or whatnot. I would, like, get distracted and go do something and try and come back and, like, turn it off and put it back but just never find my way yeah. back. I would be laying in my bed, like fully immersed in my book, and I would just hear like a scream. Yeah. And I would be like, I know what this is. But another thing to add to is that it wasn't a small Brita. It was like one of those big, however many, le- well, what do you guys use? I don't know. It was the, it was the largest. Liters. It was a large one. It was two a large liters, one. maybe. So it had to at least be like two to five minutes of straight pour. Yeah. It was. Mm-hmm. But we're all grateful that you changed the filter. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We appreciate I that. I tried to improve. I, I unfortunately have to say that does still happen in my apartment. <laughs> does <laughs> Ashley call you out? No. She does not. Oh, I, really? I hear it myself. I don't have you guys to, like, check me up on this, but I, I do hear it myself. Yeah. It's okay. a small one, though, so, like, sometimes I can, like, I'm not, it's not a long, as long of a break away from it, yeah. so I see it. It's not every now and then it still happens. Yeah. Well, do you have one? For, do you want to alternate or do you just want to let us go? Because we have some more. You guys can take a couple and then there's okay. two of you. So you guys have a little bit more than I probably have. Yeah. Okay. Probably my favorite thing about living with Kayla Ooh. was that one of my favorites was that obviously Georgia has a dog, Winnie. She comes up all the time and Kayla would always come home and let her out and give her cuddles and kisses, which is so nice. Um, but one thing is, Winnie's probably the most intelligent dog I've ever met in my life. And the girl knows how to unlock doors yeah. and open doors. So I just want to say, Kayla, when you used to leave the door unlocked and Kayla would yeah. open the door. Oh, Winnie. Oh, Winnie would open the door. Sorry, <laughs> Kayla. I mixed you guys up. Um, and she would, she, remember that time she escaped? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> She was running around the parking lot. Mm-hmm. For us. She was very free. She but was liberated. Yeah, that was a little bit scary. Yeah. I, I... Do you have any defense? <sighs> no. Okay. <laughs> you guys got me on that one. Do, do you have the defense for this? I think this one's like the winner. We love our Toll House cookie dough. We really do. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to lie. We probably ate each other's a billion times and we probably just never owned up to it. Um, so what, what happened when you left the cookie dough overnight in the fruit basket? Oh my. <laughs> I was so like heartbroken over that too, because like, the next day I definitely want, I was so looking forward to cookies and like the fact they were like spoiled. Next day I was, was reeked. Yeah. Like it's probably, it was probably one of those things again, the ADHD, like yeah. I think I was probably meaning to put them in the fridge and in the fruit basket. I don't oh. What, what what made it better is I got up for breakfast and I got up to the fruit bowl. It has the clip and everything on it. Oh, it was just disposed there. It was prepared to go back. Again, I've done this at this apartment. Like not the exact same situation, but like maybe I've like I was eating chips and dip, chips and salsa, and I went to go put the salsa back in the fridge and I put it in the microwave. Like <laughs> same thing. Like didn't even realize. Like I, I think have a lot going on. I think I might have ADHD like, <laughs> un- undiagnosed because mm-hmm. I've even been asked by like I was at PT like maybe a month ago and it was in the middle of the appointment and she goes do you have ADHD <laughs> I was like I mean I don't like it's not diagnosed but you're a doctor like you're not like that kind of doctor but you're still a doctor and I mean both of your guys things I think they've gone along with that so yeah. Okay, but but regardless, Kayla, we have to say overall A plus roommate. Yeah. We had absolute family vibes in there. It was so like, crazy. It really was. It's like especially I think I'm gonna be sad around Christmas time because our Christmas vibes. Yeah. The Christmas tree. We're immaculate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. My my dad bought all of those Christmas. I know. I was trees, say, so we had the cutest. I have my little stocking. We had the C, the G, and the E. That was so adorable. Do we get one for Winnie? When he had a stocking. But she didn't have a letter. It was because yeah. it was a different year. Like, it wasn't the same pattern. Yeah. But regardless, regardless, great we roommate. Um, we have harped on you enough, Kayla. That was not very warranted. I am I feel a little bit bad about that. So please insult me. <laughs> what do you have? Let me see. I hope it's bad. No, it's it's really not. Like, it's, it's similar. You guys weren't even that bad. It was like a good fall. It was like a 
you know, like the just, backwards just slide. Okay, so Georgia. <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs> That's not you. <laughs> it's not. It was just like at any point of the day, I feel like your music was on 100. <laughs> but like, music tastes 100. percent It's it's great. But I'm a nap person, so sometimes <laughs> I'd be like mid nap and I'd roll over, and then I'd just be here and like. I don't even know, like, house music is yes. two in the afternoon. And it's great. Like, maybe you're in the shower. Maybe you're just doing your homework. And I, but I honestly miss it. Like, I, it's, it gets quiet here sometimes. So, but like, that's like, honestly, like, I was thinking, and that's like a main, that's like the only thing I can think of with you. Um, another, but a good thing about Georgia? No, 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 I'm not done with you. <laughs> it, it's a good thing. This is a good thing. I miss your cooking. Like, I, I don't, I'm not saying I can... I'm not a bad cook, but I'm just like the basic, you know, meat, potatoes, vegetable, like just different variations. Mm-hmm. Georgia's over here cooking curry, some stir fry. <laughs> like she has the the cultural different <laughs> variety of foods. Even if I didn't eat it, if it was just for like her, the house would smell immaculate. <laughs> so that is one thing I also do miss. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, I like really close. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, what, what oh. let's see. I don't even know if this is like a, a negative about you. It was just like the living with you. The, <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen, listen. If, you, if anyone doesn't know, Liz and I are in the same major. Oh, Same yeah. classes, like, just because of how the major is laid out, like, it's a pretty strict with your classes. So a lot of times we're in the same classes. But, like, living with her, we're both, like, competitive with our grades. Mm-hmm. I would, like, get home, just want to, like, go take a nap or something. But I see that light on and she's at her desk and I know she's doing this assignment that's due and it just like gives me anxiety and yeah. I just I had to go do it. So it was like almost like stressful, like yeah. school wise, school wise, school wise, not, yeah. not other things. That was like a major thing. I felt like if she was doing something, I had to be doing it or I'd be like, hmm, is she doing this like test that's due later today or like how'd she do on this? Yeah. No, exactly. I think um, the most obvious point of this is when the printer would go off and we would be in (laughs) the room and I would just sneakily. (laughs) No, you not even sneakily. You snapped your head. Okay, well, I try to be sneakily, but I'm too competitive for that. So I would just (laughs) see what Kayla is printing just to make sure it's not that one thing that I haven't done yet. Yeah. Um, But it always was. And then what did I do? Copy her and print it and do it again. Yeah. So I, I mean, I definitely witnessed. It was that, like, like good. It like kept me motivated. I definitely like am very lax now, but it also has brought my stress level down <laughs> by a lot. Literally a hundred percent. Like, yeah. like it really was good to keep me motivated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but mm-hmm. like I don't. I think my my blood pressure has gone down like at least twenty milligrams yeah. of mercury. Mm-hmm. Millimeters, <laughs> millimeters of mercury. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Kill a health them. major. Kill them is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. No, but for real, I would be like in the kitchen, mm-hmm. like pouring me a glass of <laughs> the brittle. And I would hear the printer go off and either Kayla would come out mm-hmm. to get it or Liz would come out to get hers. And then a couple of minutes later, it was like a peak. It was like vice versa, like same thing. Like I would definitely try to see what you're printing. Like, yeah. Not- yeah. And we, we this is, mm-hmm. this is the first time addressing it. I'm glad we're on the same page. Safe space. It was. Safe space. Um, it was just an, un- an unsaid rule. But anyways, do you have anything good for me or no? If not, let's just skip right over that. <laughs> no, I think it was just. I think for like with both you guys, like you said, it was just like such a homey feel. Like we could just be out there watching a movie, drinking our late night tea, having like our little. We always had, even though we always had Christmas lights, like there was like one above the. I just that was a great apartment vibe. Yeah, I think it was definitely like a bucket list check. Like living with your best friends, like oh yeah. great, it's been done. God, go from here. People, people probably think we're far away. We're literally like one floor apart. Oh yeah, we're we live in the same place. place. I was gonna say that we're <laughs> right above your room right now. Like, I think if I stomp hard enough, you'll just hear us. Yeah, pro- probably. Yeah, but I think like we're like living in another state. But no, we actually live very close. We can, I can just go walk and say hi. But yeah. I actually still see you for seven hours a day. So <laughs> yeah. like, we do. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> to bring back up the stress level, considering it's uh, apparently down, we yeah. have some intensive questions for you. Oh boy, fire! I'm in the hot seat now. This is the Kayla Queen. Uh, Kayla King. I was gonna say Kayla Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Getting confused. Kayla King Q and A. Liz. Yeah. Well, obviously, like you're super astute. Um, so smart. Like, wait, wait, wait. For the listeners that don't know what that means, can you define that? Oh my god. 
Kayla's a genius to put it in simpler terms. She's literally so smart, like gets hundreds on all the exams. It's so frustrating. It makes me sweat. Like I'm getting hot thinking about it. I got 107 on an exam. That's what I was literally about to say. Like I'm over here. Like I, like I am not dumb, but I'm not like a brilliant genius. And I'll hear them talk about their test grades and they're like, oh, their average was at 89, but like I got 104. How do you get 104? I thought the match was 100. Extra credit. That's a very American thing. 104. Like, that's extra so credit is very American. Anything she doesn't like, she's like, oh my god, that's so American. But it is. Uh... Anyways. Sorry. Back okay. to Taylor being smart. Yeah. Taylor is so smart. And I know that a lot of times, like, we get really stressed when we have exams coming up. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that you played so carefree and so good, like, I just want to know, did you, like, just not have an exam this week? Like, not no, a lot of work? I haven't had an exam. Did we even have one last week? I don't think so. Maybe that's what got you feeling so good because we mm -hmm. had one last week and you were like, you got yeah. to say, oh, yeah. you did have two last week, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah, and I got them done. I don't have one exam this week. I don't have an exam next week. Oh, I've been, I've been, you had me here. Just a stress free week. Castle Coliseum, record breaking, Friday night, 10 threes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna one up it. We should just tell our teachers no more exams. And I think Hokies Women's Basketball will go right mm -hmm. up yeah honestly yeah. that's a great idea i think you need a written letter of excuse yeah. can we get that from dr mitchell can that be a doctor's order dr mitchell are you listening we'll see yeah. if she texts us we know <laughs> if not she's fake okay considering you were stress-free and you didn't have like an exam or anything like liz and i do have a song of the week or we stayed what i was last week before the game mm -hmm. and we just wanted to know like if you listened to a song before the game because if you did like you need to probably listen to that. Honestly, no. You were the DJ before the game. I was. I got there right before, so I didn't have my AirPods in. I don't remember what song you played, but I told you you had a good song in there. And it was when Coach Brooks came in. When oh, it was, was Cuff It. It was Cuff It, Beyonce. Maybe we just need to play that before. Maybe. <laughs> oh, did you have a, a new song this week? Or in the past few days? <laughs> yeah, actually, I did. I was, um, it was, uh, what day did we play? Monday. Oh, my days mixed up. It was Monday morning and I had class. And after I was walking to class to shoot around, I just put on um, Jungle by Fred again, which once again isn't really a well known song, but yeah. it's house. Once again, George is bringing out the stuff that I know nothing about, Kayla. But she hears all, you probably hear it. I probably heard it in the locker room. Yeah. yeah. I did I, play it. Yeah. Speaking of this, I have a question. Do you like when George is on Ox? I mean, I'm most, yeah. No, I, I do. You on you don't play house music hundred percent of the time. Yeah. You you switch it up. I do. I think you try and match people's like energy vibe. So yeah. yeah, I do like when you're on Ox. Yeah. Thanks. Not to get serious though, but I feel like you used to like try to match people's more. Yeah. Like a, you like you used to do that a lot more. Yeah. I feel like recently you have been like just playing what you wanted. I yeah. don't think it's like you're trying to match like their music taste. I think you just like read the room of like energy levels like yeah, we, do we need to get like hype like you play that music like are we like chill i don't think it's like you're like pleasing people's music taste right, right. that's a great way to put yeah. it but do, do you think that you did used to do that and now you've like changed and just been like i want to do it yeah i don't care anymore me. i used yeah. to be a freshman i was scared of everyone now i'm a junior a big junior and i'm just in charge a big five five junior five six junior <laughs> um, okay let's not fight <laughs> Anyways, another question is... I didn't get to say my song of the week. Oh, what was your song of the week then? I was just going to ask, I've been wondering this. Is it cringy to, like, seriously like Dominic Fike's music? No. no. He was in jail, though. For what? I can't remember, but it can't have been that bad if he's out. Oh, okay. Well, I just don't want to be... Do you, like, do you like Dominic Fike? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've, I've kind of tried to expand music, but I have a couple of his songs. Not, like, a whole album or anything, but I have a few of his songs. Okay, well, I've just been wondering that. I just needed to know. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to know what your what your favorite shoes are to, to play in. Because um, I, I think I have an idea, but well, I think the LeBrons now. You know, not after what? Not the Giannis's. Oh, no, those are. I I want another pair. They're only on StockX now, though. Mm -hmm. But like, I might I might pull a trigger by myself. How much are the how much are the honestes? They're on oh yeah, they're honestly not that much. I looked up the white pair that like I'm currently wearing that's like yeah. my favorite, and it was like one eighty two hundred, and that's yeah. like on StockX. That's honestly not that bad. I think that Hokie Nation can pull that together oh, to get my Kayla God. King her favorite pair of shoes. You Is that legal? Why wouldn't it be? 
Okay, I think Elizabeth Kitley and Georgia Amor can contribute to Kayla King's funds we and can. get her a pair of shoes. Because... I'm, I'm actually about to wash them in like a day to like try and revive them a little bit because right. you know how you know how Coach Brooks feels about a little dirty shoes. Dirty shoes. You're right. right. Yeah, but re- regardless of those, the LeBrons obviously did you very well. They did. They, they did. They did. I might so have to little... keep those on for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that'll work great. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Speaking of NBA players, um, people have often compared you to both. MJ and Steph Curry in the past days. Just yeah. want to say thoughts on that one. I mean, you know, even being like in the same conversation as them is just honestly, I never thought it would even be up there. So the fact that I'm in the same room as them, I'm, I'm gonna take that and take it and run with it. Just if someone says, "Who are, who are you? What's your NBA comparison?" I'm just LeBron, LeBron, yeah. LeBron, MJ. It's gotta be the shoes. Steph, Steph Curry, you know. Yeah. You really remind me a lot of Steph Curry. Yeah. I wish that we could show the picture of you photographed onto MJ's body. Um, it's a striking resemblance. Yeah. She has the tongue out. She has this. Can I? Can I? Oh God. That would have been funny. Yeah. Anyways. I, I didn't even realize it was me. I thought it was. I thought it was him. Like. Yeah. It looks very yeah. natural. Yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> this was okay. Now we're gonna go into like some fan questions. Some people wanted to know. So. Um, maybe not as joking around, but whatever you can you can joke around with it if you want. But how do you think that you became the defender you are today? Because obviously you can shoot, like we all know that you're so good at that. Um, but a lot of people don't recognize your defense as much, and you're like so incredibly good at that, and you always guard the best player on the other team. So how do you think you got to the defender you are today? I mean, so I actually had a lunch today with like a couple of like donors, and Coach Brooks made it known that when I came in as a freshman. I was a horrible defender Mm -hmm. um, that I would smack every screen like it was a magnet and Mm -hmm. that I'd get dribbled right around. Um, So I feel like after hearing that, I knew that freshman year, I was not, you know, the best defender. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think that kind of just gave me motivation to work on it. And I realized it was more of like a, it's like kind of a mind game and, you know, I enjoy those. Uh, So being not as athletic, you have to be like one step ahead and, uh, Coach Brooks and Coach Poppy have definitely helped with that since I've been here. Yeah, I have another question. Do you think, like, you being so, like, you're so smart and everything, and you always want to, like, yeah. get 100 on tests and everything, do you think that motivates your, like, perfectionism in basketball? Yes, because even after the game last week, or Monday, having 33 points, I'm like, oh, that one girl scored on me that one play. <laughs> like, I almost, like, think it's to a fault, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I'm like, oh, I can't believe I let that girl hit a shot in my face. But it's, like, yeah. it's literally two points. Like, yeah, uh, it's actually insane. You know, like, yeah. things like that can keep you up at night. But yeah. then the yeah. fact that you made nine threes, you're just like, okay, yeah, like, next. Yeah. Like, you'll turn the page yeah. after doing something incredible. But something yeah. that you mess up one time, you're like, you cannot let it go. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's exactly like that. So, yeah. yeah. But I think that also is what, like, makes me better. Like, yeah. you, need to have, you need to have a balance of both. Yeah. I was going to say, it's like a blessing and a curse because mm-hmm. – it really works favorably both ways. I think I think we all have a little bit of that though. Like yeah. <laughs> YouTube is you two definitely do. Um, <laughs> another question coming off like your post game interview, you mentioned that uh, you really benefited from observing the game from a coach's perspective mm-hmm. when you were sidelined with injury mm-hmm. last year. So like, what can you like offer more detail on how that made you a better player and a student of the game? I mean, you just see a lot more when you're not playing. Like when you're in the game, I mean you of course try to see the whole court but it's definitely cut off yeah um you can see how plays develop you can see how people like almost like how people like to get their shots how people play like Liz you can see how you where where you want the ball where you want to shoot where you want to do this and I think it helps you make yourself and your other teammates better um and then you just like being next to Coach Brooks while watching a practice, you see how he thinks. Like he'll be like literally, he'll tell you what he thinks. And you're like, Oh, like that's why you say that. Oh, that's yeah. why I think like the biggest realization I had with him is like when he asks you a question, like, yes, he may be like quizzing you, but at the same mm-hmm. time, like he just like genuinely wants input. He just wants and, to like, learn like what he wants to know how you think. So it helps yeah. you like Yeah. It, it's a it's a back and forth thing it's not yeah. like he there's not one specific answer i mean there's some questions where he like wants yeah to but true. other things he's just he really just genuinely wants to know what you're thinking yeah um that. now any an even deeper question i think and i think this was like really important to ask because obviously we oh do you want to 
Okay. We know like your value on the team, obviously. Um, and I think the more the years have progressed, the more people are like saying like Kayla King is underrated. Like she needs to be talking about more. Um, like, what are your honest thoughts on that? Like, obviously we know that you need yeah. to. Like, I honestly a hundred percent do not care about like any rec Like I almost like get, I'm not embarrassed, but like when pe people talk about me, I'm just like, Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Talk, you about and Liz, talk about Georgia. Yeah. No, you and Liz like, are exactly the same. Like, as soon as, like, like, we bring up any, like, accomplishment or anything, yeah. you guys are so quick to brush it off. Like, yeah. what you guys do is incredible. You can accept that. I know. I think I think it's just, I don't know. I guess it's, like, how I've always been with it. Like, especially, like, even, like, AAU. Like, no one, like, knew who scored what. Like, mm -hmm. it was just, like, oh, you could have a great game. But, like, even, like, if you can go in the score books and they didn't even tally up the points. Like, yeah. I think it's just almost like how I grew up so it's like I really don't care if I have two points or 33 I'm just happy we won like I want everyone on our team to be successful so mm -hmm. I don't think I really look into like if I'm recognized or not like yeah I know people on the team know my role I know coach Brooks knows my role so that's yeah. like really all that matters yeah. yeah so I have another question with that mm -hmm. like obviously you came out so hot um do you feel more pressure now to like continue that or like, I hate, like, um, I don't know if you hate I, being asked this, but. No, I mean, I, I feel like there's, like, a little pressure to, like, shoot well or, like, I don't think, I mean, clearly a 33-point game is not going to happen every single night, so I'm not going to yeah. put that pressure on myself. Um, I'm assuming, but, you know, watched that game and saw that I had nine threes, so they'll definitely, I assume, adjust to that. And I'm not going to force any shots. I'm not going to do this. If I'm open, I'll shoot it um but you know maybe someone Georgia maybe they'll say off you like next game and you'll have nine threes like who knows Ashley, like, Taylor like literally I feel like one night it's going to be like a different person like mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's going to have their night like on our team this year yeah. I was going to say like you literally can't like you have to I mean sorry Liz but like you have to like kind of sag off somebody if you want to even like remotely stop you yeah like one-on-one -on -one, uh, it's just it, it's I don't think anyone can go one-on-one -on -one with you so okay. they're gonna have to choose somebody that's and what I, I wouldn't know who to choose like yeah. honestly that's I'm, what, I'm not doing a scout coach Brooks means by like pick your poison because like mm -hmm. even like during the game like when I did pass it to you I was like this has to be a prank because obviously like I just want to draws, yeah like she draws so much attention like they there was like one trip in transition where like Liz got down the floor mm -hmm. she was like in the lane and I remember the girl's number, but I'm not going to say it to embarrass her. She mm. points at you because she's so preoccupied by trying to double Liz. And Liz doesn't mm. even have the bloody ball yet. Mm. I'm like, this is a prank because they fully left you. Yeah. yeah I, I really didn't realize it until I watched the game back. Because I remember one time going up to you, I was like, oh, like, Kayla, I was kind of open here. But I did not realize how wide open yeah. they left you sometimes. So I want to formally apologize. Um, anytime Kayla King is that open, please, you need to shoot it. Yeah. Like, the three points is more than two. I'm not getting the three in the paint. Must no, no. I feel like that the one you did come up to me like I definitely I know I I saw and I was like kind of a little deeper than I even expected it was no. just trend, you know no, see there she is she can't even yeah. she's still apologizing when I said no. that she was right yeah no mm, I watched it too I I see your side <laughs> well I think the the moral of that story is that our whole team mm. is very unselfish yeah, yeah. so well, we, we played in Castle on Monday, but somebody wanted to know what is your favorite atmosphere outside of Castle to play in, uh, in the ACC? My favorite, personally, is NC State. Like, I honestly, like, love their gym. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, like, the biggest stadium, but I think that's what I love about it because they, like, pack it. They fill it up, and it gets, like, insanely loud in there. Mm -hmm. um, of course, like, we would love that they would be cheering for us, but it's almost, like, even more fun when we, like, make them quiet because it's like shows you're doing something but Bro, that's definitely my favorite place the most embarrassing thing last year we played at state mm -hmm. and it was um i well it was like after the whistle but i had airballed it and so like state student section is obviously going air well air. Yeah. i thought they were saying amor <laughs> yeah. i honestly don't think you've ever told me that you i thought you did yourself know. Did you tell anyone that? Yeah, I've been telling people that because it's hilarious. Oh. Hilariously embarrassing. That is like, yeah. I have no comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. a silencing fact. I wasn't really, I mean, were you confused? Like, 
no, I just, just think anymore. We just. That. She probably just thought that they thought she was so hot and good what? that they were just they couldn't not yeah. chant for her. Like just, I would I don't I look I was that engrossed engrossed in the game I was not paying yeah. much mind to it I was like that's just a bit strange but five high <laughs> I was locked in. That's a point guard's mindset right point, there, ladies. Exactly. Right there. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of in a nutshell, yeah. Speaking of like student sections and NC State and Castle and packing it, we do have another game. Mm-hmm. This. Friday, November the 11th, 11-11, make a wish, at 7 p.m. versus Bucknell. Um, are you excited for that game? Obviously, we are, but... I mean, yeah, it's just that I'm excited for every game, honestly, this year. Like, this team is just so fun to play with that I think every game... It, it, I mean, I just want everyone to do well. And honestly, like, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's all I have to say. Like, I'm excited. Oh, gosh. Well, I feel like we are only as good as our crowd and our student section. Mm-hmm. You, guys great awesome. game. you guys came out and you really showed support and we really appreciated that. So keep that up. And mm-hmm. next game at Bucknell, hopefully either Kayla goes off again or Liz goes off. Or, or Georgia goes or off. Georgia. Or some of the newcomers because we still have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, yeah, We did not show everything that we have in one game. And yeah. like we said at the start of the podcast, like that was not nearly as good as what we could have played at. And I think we still did a pretty decent job at that game, so. I would agree, yeah. I, well, I didn't even realize we broke 100 until, like, like it, it came out of nowhere, honestly. Yeah. Like, we were, like, 60, 70, and then I was like, wow, like, 101. That's yeah. a lot of points. We got really hot, and hopefully we will be that hot on Friday. I'm, I'm speaking into existence. It's going to be a great game. Everyone should come, so we'll see you guys there. Me, Kayla, and Georgia will be there, that's for sure. Yes. And... Yeah, Kayla, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Our first guest. Our first, Our first guest. <laughs> <laughs> we loved having you. Is there anyone you want to shout out? You want to say hey to Ryan? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I miss him at games now. It's honestly, yeah. I mean, we talked about this after the game. Like, it's so, like, he's in college now. He has his own life. He's not going to be at all my games. Well, you can shout him out now. Ryan, I miss you. He, oh. It's my brother for everyone who, like, doesn't know who Ryan is. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, well, he he's the famous one, like Ryan yeah. King, freshman at UNC Charlotte. Amazing, I miss you, Ryan. Amazing, such a family woman. Don't we love We're that? Such a family team. Yeah, family okay. environment. Yes. Well, Kayla, thank you so much. Thank you, Next time we talk, we will have been two more games into the season. Mm-hmm. So you know, we're looking at hopefully three. No, we'll get mm-hmm. back to you when that happens. But yeah, until then, I'm Liz. I'm Georgia, and we're. Queens of the Castle. <laughs> Are you going to sing it every